Hey, hey, welcome to M. Shady's podcast on Roundtable Radio. My name is Emery, and I'll be talking about anything and everything. Hope you enjoy. Hey, guys. Today, I'm not going to be talking about what I said last week, and we're not going to even rekindle it. (laughs) But I'm going to talk about music, because I love music. Like, why else would I talk about it? Duh, Emery. But... Um, I'm not really sure if, like, how long I'm going to be talking because I don't know how to tell. So, why not just set a timer? Okay. So, mm, let's just start with this. Like, what kind of music do I listen to? Honestly, let me tell y'all a story time about music, like, first. So, I missed the bus to go to tennis practice. Because now I'm playing tennis since basketball is over. Fun fact, before basketball, tennis was my main sport until I quit in sixth grade. And I quit for basketball, so. I mean, was it worth it? I'd probably be really good at tennis right now, but can we go back and change it? No. So, let's think. Oh, yeah, the story time. So, I missed the bus for tennis practice at the school, right? And, like, I don't even know how I missed the bus. I didn't know we were taking the Episca bus, and me and two other girls were waiting for the bus, and we missed it. And we saw it drive off, but we thought it was a different bus because we never take the Episca bus. But the one time we took the Episca bus, we missed it or whatever. So I called Miss Suchi, the librarian. I think she's also a tennis coach. I'm not really sure, but she helps out at the Met where we work out or where we practice. And she um, (laughs) had to take us because she also missed the bus, which we're kind of lucky for that. But the thing is, the car was so small. And they had me, the shortest out of all four people, like in the passenger seat. So Misuchi's driving, I'm in the passenger seat, and then two freshmen, Maddie Boss and... I forgot the other person's name, but I'm cool with her. You know, I need to start asking for people's names, but I'm cool with her. I don't know her name, though. That's kind of weird. She's my friend, and I don't know her name. Anyways, um, they were in the back seat of the small car. Like, it was like a coupe car, like a mini coupe. They had their, like, legs on the seat, like, folded up, and I'm in the front seat with all the space. Actually, I didn't have that much space, but back to what we're talking about music so in the car like it was kind of awkward because you know like we don't really talk to miss suchi like she's a bundle like she has a lot of energy and she kind of felt kind of bad or like she was like we need a picture like we were like a picture like that's kind of awkward we were just all so squished and then it was awkward in the car like nobody was really talking because like What are we going to talk about in front of a teacher, you know, like how our day was and gossip and all that, you know, we all know high school is gossip, like let's not go there, but yeah, like we're going to gossip in front of the teacher. And then, so we were just quiet. So she goes, Emery, you get the ox. And then she's like, um, I just got rid of my ex, SM or SX, what is it? SM radio or something. So I'm like. I get the ox in my head. I'm like, what am I going to play? Y'all, like you would. Oh, my God, (laughs) y'all. She goes, um, no profanity, no rap, no fast, like no fast music, no cuss words. I'm like, what am I going to play? I said, well, that's going to be hard. And she was like, okay, maybe a little bit of profanity. No, the profanity wasn't the hard part. It was the rap. (laughs) It was the rap. So, I played, y'all, I played Good Days by SZA, and that had cuss words, and every time the cuss word came on, I, like, cringed, and I was like, oh, my God. And then I played Normal Girl by SZA, and then, like, Pop Smoke came on, I was like, I really hope this isn't a lot of rap for her. But, y'all, like, all I listen to is, like, R&B and rap, and, like, that's what everyone listens to. What was I going to play? Country music? Like... I could have put on Taylor Swift, but nobody wants to talk about or cry about a boy in the car like on the way to tennis practice. No, nobody wants to do that. 
but yeah that's literally how the ride went it was kind of awkward i don't know what else i played but i promise maddie and the other freshmen i don't listen to that kind of music i i listen to like janae Aiko and you know like drake you know i don't really like kanye nope he's a little weird a little dirk you know like I listen to rap music. I hope y'all know who that is. I'll play a song for y'all right now. I'll play. I'll give y'all a little snippet. I can't even play like all that I want because it's too many cuss words. It's it's so many cuss words. I wish like rappers could just find a way not to cuss every sentence and make the song still good, but. I guess it gives it flavor but music actually really like gets you through so much like different artists like it's like people are the same to me like we all go through the same things not all of us but like we have similarities and rappers are just like us and songwriters singers all just like us they're they're human you know they live the life that we live you know they're normal people just with fame and more people know them and they have more money or whatever like they still go through things and i guess money can't find you happiness but i don't believe in that shoot money can buy you happiness i don't know money can't buy you people i guess like you can't buy people back with money unless they're a gold digger and you don't need that in your life you don't need gold diggers in your life but that's not even what we're talking about we're talking about music and it can get you through so much and like the person that the songwriter or singer that helps me when you know i don't like saying i'm feeling down but you know everybody feels down so the person that actually helps me is like not even a rapper it's a singer her name is janae Aiko. it's like she goes through so much of what females go through with you know family relationships you know you know just life in general and also drake like drake knows what he's talking about he is really smart so is um j cole j cole is like one of the best writers like he knows how to put words and pieces together and make the song flow he's good at it i'll give it to him he's good at it but Y'all, I've been knowing, like, now I know why my podcasts have been so long. Y'all are probably bored. I've been looking at the top, and I've been waiting for it to get to 10. I've been waiting for the top part to get to, like, 1,000, basically. But no, uh, it's not how it works. That's not the minutes or seconds or whatever. Like, I'm already seven minutes in. Like, I thought I would be two minutes in right now. I'm actually slow in the head sometimes, you know? That's crazy. I'm so glad Mr. Fran will tell me that. Like, that saves so much time. All my podcasts have been extremely long. Probably bored y'all away. But, yeah, music is actually like therapy. Don't go to a therapist. Just listen to music. Jenna Aiko, Drake, Lil Durk, Lil Uzi, all these rappers. You know, their life stories are actually really interesting. Like, Janae can, I guess she's like an influence to young moms. Like, she's a mother and she had her child at like 19 or something like that. It's like a teen mom and she still like made a way for herself and her family. You know, Drake was born in Canada and and he started like music at 15. And I'm 16, but I can't sing, but I can start something. He was, he didn't just do music. He like, he was an actor on Degrassi. I used to like that show. I don't remember what channel it was on. I think it was like, yeah, I don't remember Nickelodeon. No, I don't know, but it was a good show. He was a cool little actor. You know, people, they have different paths. People were born in the, you know, hood, like the poor parts of, their state or their country or whatever and they still made a way found a way through music through their voice to just 
influence other people, teenagers, you know, adults, mothers, fathers, you know, just any kind of people. They always find a way to influence. And it's just so inspiring how people can just change their life with their voice. You know, I, they probably were all shy at first and probably had challenges throughout the road but everybody has a different path and i just wanted to come on here and just talk about you know how you can start your own you know be influenced to do things through music through other artists through their songs or you can even make your own like on the bus to spc for basketball and at the um at the gyms before our games mainly in spc play like conference play all the girls on the basketball team would just rap like we'd find so much joy and just have so much fun from rapping making up our own raps you know talking about what we're gonna do talking about each other talking about the other team just having fun rapping and singing and dancing it just all brings us joy and like it just makes us forget all of our differences and challenges outside of basketball or like that we may have in school or anything else you know it just all goes away just from our voice and just being with each other and singing it's it just it's honestly honestly like one of the things that i you know miss about basketball besides actually playing and you know going to spc to dallas and just you know the championship getting there and making history i do miss the music that we made we should make an album but yeah thanks y'all thank you for listening and m shady out and that's raps thanks for tuning in to m shady's podcast on roundtable radio hope you enjoyed come back every other week to see what i have to talk about next